Let's look at exporting a book for ACX. The ACX validation is found in the Export drop-down menu. When you run it, you will notice that it automatically puts noise reduction onto the track and adjusts it to meet the ACX noise floor requirement. It also puts on the effect Audiobook Process, which is a limiter and automatically adjusts the exported file volume to ACX specs. In addition to this, the validation process will automatically adjust the timing of chapter headings as well as the beginning and end of your book. The exporting we are looking at in this video is assuming your book has a structure, meaning chapters, parts, etc. If your book does not yet have a structure, we recommend that you watch our video, Creating Structure where we go into detail about why your book needs a structure in the first place and how you can create it. Separating your book into chapters. ACX and other publishing platforms typically want the audio files sent to them as chapters or broken up some other way, as opposed to one large audio file. The reason for this is because audiobooks are long, typically multiple hours long. This is why when you open a book in Hindenburg, you will see the structure of the book, such as chapters, in the Table of Contents window. You can also add a structure to your book by clicking on H1 in the book bar at Chapter Headings. This will put a nav point into the file and allows Hindenburg to know there are different chapters in the book. Here is how you can export your book by the chapters. In the file drop-down menu, you can select to open the properties menu. When you do this, a window will appear that allows you to customize things in Hindenburg. The fourth tab over is the book export tab. In the book export tab, you can choose how you would like to export your book. The last option you can choose is the split level function. This allows the book to be split by its structure. For example, at split level one, the book will be exported as one large audio file. At split level two, assuming it is a book with chapters, you would be able to export out the individual chapters. You can even choose to have the exported audio files have the same name as they appear in your Hindenburg session by clicking the Use Headings for File Names box. We hope you enjoy.